All right, 7E, number 24, it says, how many different six-character passwords can be formed from lowercase letters of the alphabet? How many different six-character passwords using only lowercase alphabet letters? Well, there's 26 choices for the first one, and it could be repeated, so 26 and 26 and 26, so it's going to be 26 to 6 characters to the 6. And you can figure that out with a calculator. And let's see, I can do that one. I'll show you this one on the calculator just so that you know how to do it. So 26, and that up arrow to the 6th is, oh my goodness, uh, 3, 6, 308 million. Nine one five thousand seven seven six. Three hundred eight million. Three hundred nine million almost. Okay, that's twenty four thirty. Uh, how many six person lineups can be formed from a twelve player roster, assuming every player is assigned to any position? So we're going to mix them around and so how many different lineups so they can they're going to have an arrangement because they're saying line up to form a six from a so therefore we're going to do permutations of 12 players going into six spots which is going to be uh, 12 factorial over 12 minus 6 factorial. And that's all it's going to be, which is going to be 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7 multiplied out. Uh, or 12 math probability NPR. Oop, I got the wrong one. Math probability NPR 6. And it comes out to be 665,000. 280. That's 30. Next one, 33. 33 says, uh, how many license plates can have the form of XX, y, 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 where X is a letter? So there's two of them. So 26 times 26 times, and Y is a numeral, 0 to 9, and there's five of them. So it's going to be in 0 to 9 is 10 numerals times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So, or 26 two letters times 10 to the fifth for the five numbers. You can work that out. Uh, 36. 36 says, how many anagram arrangements of the letters I love math can you make? Is there any repeated letters in I love? No repeat yet. M is not repeated. A is not repeated. T is not repeated. H is not repeated. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'll have nine choices for the first, eight for the second, third, four. 5, 4, 3, it's going to be 9 factorial, which is uh, 9 math probability, 4, enter, 3, 6, 2, 8, 8, 0. Anagrams for I love math. 36, 30, next one is 41. 41, uh, you're one of 12 people at a party. Does anyone have your birthday? Uh, anyone, is there at least one? So you're going to do one minus no one having your birthday. So the first, uh, if you're one of 12, then there's 11 other people and all 11 would be have to not have your birthday, so the first person could be any of the 364 days out of the 365, 
that person and then they could have the same birthdays as other people so all of those 11 people have to have a, a birth date that doesn't match yours and so you'd work that one out that way let's see I'll do it here one minus parenthesis three six four divided by three six five close parenthesis to the eleventh oh I made it to the one to the eleventh and that's um, there's a basically a three percent chance zero point zero two nine seven is the probability that no one will have that someone at least one person because this is no one having your birthday so that's at least one of the other eleven having your birthday slim chance two percent for uh, now the the second question on here they didn't say a or b but I'll do that said that at least the, the probability that some pair of guests that would be one minus nobody having matching somebody else so that would be the first person could be any birthday times the next person has to be one of the 364 birthdays out of the 365 364 that are left and the next one have to be 363 out of the 365 and so on down to we have to do this 1 2 3 11 times so 365 minus 11 is down to 354 over 365 and you work that one out and that would be your answer for 41. Okay. Second part of 41. Now we're to 43. 43 says, Ice cream shop. And I noticed we messed up something here. We're putting, there's eight different, 20 different flavors and eight different toppings. 20 flavors, eight toppings. So, how many different Sundays can you create using one of the ice cream flavors and one topping? So that's 20 times 8. That's an easy one. Uh, 160. B. How many different triple coins can you create using 20, 20 flavors if the same flavor may be used more than once? Assume that you specify which flavor goes on the bottom, middle, and top. So, we can go 20 times 20 times 20. 20 choices for the first flavor. Uh, 20 for the second flavor and 23rd for the third flavor and, uh, and if we're going to allow some toppings we're going to have to take that times 8. I may not have done that in class. Using the 20 flavors, so C. Using the 20 flavors, how many different triple cones can be created with a different flavors if you specify which flavor goes on the bottom, middle, and top? So, so we got 20 choices for the bottom one. Then there'd only be 19 because it's got to be different. Then there'd only be 18. Uh, and then if we got choices of toppings, it'd be times eight. If you don't do the toppings, it'd be just that. And D. Using 20 flavors, how many different triple cones cones can be with a three different flavors if you don't care about the order of them. So then you would have to take and undo the order so you would have 20 times 19 times 18 but those three could be arranged uh, this one on top, bottom, up. those two could switch in the bottom or put this one on top and then switch those two or put this one on top and switch those two. So there's six ways or 3 times 2 times 1, so you divide by 6 to get 43. 
And then we go to 46. 46 says zip codes in the United States. They have five digits and nine extra, uh, four extra for the nine. How many five digit zip codes are there? So that would be 10 to the fifth or 100,000. B, how many, what is the average number per, if there's 300 million, 300 million divided by 100,000, that's 10 to the fifth, five zeros, five zeros, there's 3,000. Ooh, so I got 10 to the fifth, 100,000, 300 million people. If all possible zip codes were used, explain. So there would be three. Oh, did I get this right? Yeah. There'd be 3,000 people for every zip code. We had 300 in class. There'd be 3,000. Okay. How many nine digit zip codes are available? So that would be. 10 to the ninth, and so could everyone get their own personal? So that would be, uh, see, so then we'd have to take 300 million by divided by 10 to the ninth, and that uh, nine zeros eight zeros are up here and so three out of every ten so there'd be ten zip codes for every three people so yes everyone could have their own zip code all right 47 I'm running low on space on this page I might have to switch here uh, find the probability giving then Choosing six lottery numbers to match six randomly selected balls from one through 36. So you got 36 numbers and you got to choose six of them randomly. So 36, uh, choose six is how many different ones, uh, ways to choose them. And only one of those would be correct. So we'd have, uh, let's do, 30 on 36 math probability choose six there's one million nine hundred and forty seven thousand seven hundred and ninety two uh, different combinations and you'd have one chance out of those that's the probability of Picking six correct out of 36. Because we don't care which order you get them in. That's 47. Next one is 48. Choosing five lottery numbers from 1 through 42. So there's one set that's right. And out of 42, choose five. So 42 math. Probability, choose five. 850,000. And you have to get one of them. So that's the probability of getting one right in the lottery of where there's five, one through 42. And I'm going to have to go to a new page here to finish this up. Number... 55 and then 56. 55 is hot streak. Suppose 2,000 people are all playing the game for which the chances of winning is 48%. So probability of winning is 0.48. Assuming one, everyone plays exactly five games, what's the probability of one person winning five games in a row? Uh, so probability of five in a row, that would have to be this, 0.48 to the fifth. So there's 
probability of winning five in a row is 0 0.02548, if you want more. On an average, how many of the 2,000 people? So we take that times 2,000, and we get 51 people, about. So you'd expect about 51 to win five in a row. Probably seems more than you would expect, but if you got a 50-50 chance, or almost 50-50 chance, that's pretty good odds. B. B. Uh, says, assuming everyone plays exactly 10 games, what's the probability of one person winning 10 games in a row? So 0.48 to the 10th is uh, 0.000649. That's the probability of one person winning 10 in a row. So out of 2,000, we take that times 2,000. Oop, yeah, and that means uh, one and a quarter people, 1.3 people roughly out of 2,000 should get a 10 in a row. And then 56. Joe DiMaggio, we kind of did this one in class. What's the probability batter? who hits 400% will get at least one hit in four at-bats. So at least one would be one minus getting no hits. Chance of not hitting is 0.6. Four at-bats. <coughs> Excuse me. Can't get a hit four times. So that's um, one minus 0.6 to the fourth. So that's That's the probability of getting at least one hit. Pretty good percentage. Now, what's the probability of that happening for a stretch of 56 games? So then we take 0.87 to the 56 power. I'm going to use what I got there. To the 56 power. And it's 0.00042. Or 42 times in a hundred thousand, or tens, hundred thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. Yes, 42 players out of a hundred thousand that bat 400 should get a 56 game streak. Well, there hasn't been that many that have batted 400,000, 400. Suppose instead of batting 400, they bat 300. So getting Four hits in a uh, of having a four hit game would be one minus 0.7 to the fourth to getting a hit. So one minus 0.7 to the fourth. So they only got a 0.76 chance per uh, probability of getting a hit in a in a game. So getting 56 hits in a row, 0.76 to the 56 is, to the 56 is 0.000002. Two in every 10 million uh, 300 hitters. Well, 300 is uh, above average. There probably hasn't been that many in the history of baseball. So, uh, uh, in the pro level, so extremely unlikely. And the fact that Hunter baseball has been around 100 years is a surprise that someone setting a record of 56 games clearly explained. It still is surprising because it's, first of all, they get a, to get a, a 400 average is pretty amazing. Uh, not There has been very few people and if there's the 300 averages there hasn't been that many players with the 300 average so it's still pretty surprising.